Hello, Gemini. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. We drop the D3 tarot to review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Gemini, are you trying to bring the house down? Are you trying to bring the house down? <laughs> that about um one more i'll jump into this okay wow 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 that that's something else um to be determined huh jumping into this i don't know what this is about that's um i have to say gemini that is strategic that is strategy right there is this overall of me joking and kind of being fun here about bringing the house down? That's exactly what you're kind of showing me. You are pretty determined and adamant about revealing something here. And I don't know what this is about. Um, it seems like you're pretty determined to reveal something about a connection or relationship between you and someone. This is some someone. Um, it's it's almost as if you you want something to be realized. You want something to be found out. You want something just out in the open, out in the clear. And that's fascinating because whatever this is that you are clearing up, there's a lot of excitement as well as looking forward. It's interesting, looking forward, but emotionally speaking, um, you're you're kind of facing two directions at the same time, Gemini. You're focused on the future, you're focused on the past at the same time, and you're anticipating what's going to happen in the present. Um, it's kind of like where things could go, where things have been, where things currently are. Okay, here we go. Um the difference it's this energy of switching in difference um it's almost like time time windows or time frames that is even though there's so much positivity and excitement and anticipation and so much just how things have gone um you're a little bit emotionally torn and split and that that makes sense it's kind of like saying even though you are considering this and that in the present you're split because there's a difference and there's an emotional comparison being made about what is ultimately going on it seems that you are having some sort of realization about whoever you have this connection or these feelings for. Um, and ultimately what you're kind of saying is it's a, it's a very, it's a very strategic, but also risky move to move forward with whatever this connection is. You're ultimately kind of saying it could be risky. It could be a little bit dangerous, but you're also saying it could be a little bit of fun to try and figure out where this connection between me and them will ultimately go. And so the two of you are ultimately trying to kind of build something together here. Oh, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I do understand. Um, whew, yeah. I was going to say, you just wanted to, you, this is an energy of, like I said, bringing down the house. Um, 
Like you showed up, you showed up, like I said, you showed up to the party with a plan. That's what you're saying. You showed up to the party with a plan. You're like, watch this. Um, <laughs> Cause you're ultimately realizing, you're ultimately realizing how, by how you're moving and how you're responding and reacting to them, what's actually going on um, with them, I should say. Yeah, there you are. There you are. The energy of the two of you trying to figure out where this connection is going, even though you're kind of like, it's risky, but it's like, like I said, it's risky, but it's it's equivalent of, is it madness or is it genius? You're saying genius because as the two of you are actually working together on something, um, it seems like you guys are actually trying to discover or find out more about the emotions and the feelings between each other. And that's what's so very fascinating. It's like, it's like an energy of discovery. But you're ultimately realizing, like, wow, um, something's not it. Something's not it. I don't know what that's about. Like, you're finding now, it's like, okay, like you said, a risky move to move forward. It's kind of like to be determined whether or not this actually will continue for how long. Um, you're realizing, no, it, it's, it's no. You're realizing, you know what? No, it just needs to be. It needs to be done with. It needs to be left alone. Ultimately, um, things just are not a fit. Things are not right, and you're having that that wake up call and realization of, well, if you want to be happy, you need to kind of, you know, run. <laughs> you need to run. You need to kind of pursue your own happiness. And this is what's fascinating is, once again, there's this determination in your energy to be happy, to fulfill your happiness, and you know, reach fulfillment. But even then, you kind of show me, like, well, okay, I've had my fun. You know, I've reached understanding and clarity about the situation. I no longer care about any of that. And so what you're kind of saying is, now that that's cleared up, I can kind of move forward and leave that behind. As you're moving forward, I don't exactly know what this is. You're kind of just saying, I'm focused on just resting, recovering, taking it easy, even though it's difficult. I do see that there is still a long journey up ahead of you of considering where you're actually truly emotionally at after all is said and done and after you find out everything. It's interesting. I kind of feel like you're choosing to just focus on loving and nurturing and taking care of yourself as well as healing. I'm looking at a healing process. You're saying I need to kind of get my mind right and to get my mind focused and clear and back on track with where I'm headed in life um, with whatever that endeavor is in front of you. Oh, Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Interesting. One more. I'll jump back into this. Yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering. There's someone else there. There's someone else there already. <laughs> Gemini, it's like you have someone else lined up. Um, curious myself, but we'll go with it. You're, you're ultimately kind of showing me that there's this energy of someone. Um, I don't know what that's about. Your, your imagination is kind of running wild here a little bit. But ultimately, you are kind of saying like you do have it all under control, but which is fascinating is once again, there's some sort of consideration of wanting to reach out to someone. And I don't exactly know who that is because whoever this is that you are reaching out to... Um, I'm not too sure how realistic they are. I'm not too sure how you get it. I'm not too sure how realistic they are. Because like I said, with your, you allowing your imagination to run wild, even though you're kind of showing me like, I feel how I feel, there's definitely some sort of temptation or possible 
um, sexual addiction there at the call out, you're like, mm, I just don't know. It's like you want to express yourself to someone about how you feel about them, but even they're kind of energetically showing like, mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. It almost kind of seems and feels like, are they going to swerve you, ghost you, leave you on red or what this is going on? Um, you're, you're kind of juggling a couple people here though, energetically. And I kind of like, maybe they know this. Maybe they know this because they're, they're not being very receptive and I don't know what that's about. Um, you're kind of like, well, I'll give it some time and see and then I'll reach out and make contact. And they're kind of like, mm, I don't know. Then I don't know. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, an earth sign, a fire sign or a water sign. They're all here. Goodbye.